Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have an exciting haul. Uh, Erica at Scrap Diva Design, she asked me to guest design for her company again, which of course I said yes to. I'm so thrilled to be able to do this once again. I love Erica's dyes and um, she just has some great products and I'm more than happy to uh, design for her. I'm honored actually. So um, I will show you what I got. This is kind of an unboxing, more of a haul because I already went through them and um, I actually did cheat already and make a few of them. But I just wanted to show you everything I got and I will be back with more project share videos of course once I have a bunch of them made, okay? So let's go through the dies. This one is called Mini Flowers. And this is one of the ones that I've been working on already because I love flowers, um, paper flowers. I love to make them. And I really love small ones because I think they're really versatile to put on different projects. Um, if you need more of a, you know, a, like a space filler, you could put a few of them together. Or if you just need one or two, you know, you could do that. And uh, they're not intimidating to make. And I just have been having fun with them already. So I just, I got this in the mail yesterday, the, this package of goodies. So um, I already had to break it out and start making. So anyway, it comes with all these different flower shapes. You can mix and match and make your own kind of flowers. It comes with flower centers too. And then it comes with these like stamen kind of thingies you could put in the center or use them, you know, in other ways too. You can use these as leaves or as petals. So I've been having a lot of fun trying to make different ones. So I can't wait to show you that. So again, that one is called the Mini Flowers Die Set. This one is called the Water Bottle Shaker. And this comes with the two different sizes, the small one and the large one. And it comes with um, die, a die in the center of each that makes little, little like water drops. So, or you know, you can use it for any kind of liquid. So these, um, these cut out and you can use these in your shakers, make them into shaker bits. I would cut these out of like shimmer paper because it's double-sided or other double-sided paper to add to your shaker. So this will be really fun to, um, to make into cards and it comes with this side as well um, on the other side of the packaging. And this is the part that makes the frame for the shaker. And then it comes with the layering piece as well for the top, which is really nice. So you can customize them any way you'd like. So I'm gonna have fun with those. All right, next we have the double loop scallop bow set. And this is the other one that I broke into already. Oh, this is so beautiful. This makes two different size bows. And um, like I said, I'll link them down below and you can see the examples on Erica's website and they're just beautiful. So really, really fun to make, simple to make, but they make beautiful sized bows, um, a large and a small. So, you know, perfect for different size projects. And uh, yeah, I'm having fun making these in different themes. So I'll show you that soon as well. So there you go, the double loop bow or double loop scallop bow. This one is called the Ladies T-shirt, and this is so cute. It looks like a like a golf shirt to me, kind of. So um, I think this will be really fun to make. Um, it comes with the big one and the small one, so you don't have to decide. You get both, and it comes with the layering piece to go over the collar. So you know you can make a different color collar than the shirt. So that's going to be really fun to make. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. Adding you know different prints and embellishments and stuff. So. There's the ladies t-shirt. Okay, this one is called the 3D Paper Cake Die Set. And uh, yeah, so this has the three different size circles. So these will be the bases for the layers of the cake. So, and these, uh, once you cut them out and you fold in the tabs, that makes it easy to curve into a circle and then you glue them onto the base piece. So um, that'll be really fun. You can make this into any kind of cake, a wedding cake, of course, or, you know, like a birthday cake and just make fun little embellishments or like, you know, uh, place settings, that kind of thing for, for a party. I think this will be really fun to make. So looking forward to making this again in different themes. Next is the 3D sand bucket, and this is a beautiful die set. Now this one is updated, I saw on, on the website, that it has the base, uh, the base piece has four tabs instead of just two. So I assume that this is the base piece, 
and it has the four tabs. The other one just had two tabs. So this is a new and improved version. So uh, yeah, so you make a 3D sand bucket and it comes with stitch layering pieces. Very excited about that. You can make these into shakers. Um, the inside parts you can, you know, you pop out and you can make flip-flops. Um, there's a starfish with some embossing on it. Cute flower, um, more starfish there. This side has the, I love this part, the, um, the shovel. And you can make this into a shaker as well. So, oh, that's gonna be really fun to make. Um, there's that base piece we were talking about, the flip-flop pieces, another flower. And these, I assume, are the straps of the pail, you know, the, um, like the handle. I think so, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So I, I can't wait to make this as well. And of course, you know, you don't have to make it into a sand pail. You can make it into any theme you want, but this comes with all the accessories to make it into like a beachy theme. So, oh, that'll be fun. But you could always, you know, make it Christmassy version and put like, um, you know, like glue some like baking bits on here or something like that. Maybe like a little gingerbread man. I always go to gingerbread, you know, and that's where my mind always goes. So <laughs> that's a 3D sand bucket. All right, and next we have the Baking Barcode Stamp and Die Set. And you know I've been loving stamping, and this is really fun because these are like barcode um, stamps, but in the shape of oven mitts, and they have different like baking sa sayings on them. Sweet treat, handmade, baked with love, sugar-coated, homemade, uh, you're worth it, make a wish, Bon Appetit and Baked For You. And on the back is the, um, oh, there it is up there, uh, is the, uh, the die to cut them out, which is really nice. So these will be great to add to, well, you could add to the backs of your cards, of course, or you can uh, add them to tags, to embellishments. It adds just such a cute little touch, I think, with the barcode. That's really fun. So there's that. And then the last item is the scallop tag set. And I know that this is a popular one on Erica's site. So I am so excited to have this to make some projects with. I love tag dies, love scallops. They're stitching on these too. It comes with one, two, three, four, five different tags. And I think the largest one, I think it said on the website was five and a half inches. So great size, lots of, uh, uh, so many possibilities, you guys know, with a, a tag die set. So I am excited to work with this as well. So again, all of these products will be linked down below. I'm going to work on some more things. And once I have a few more made up, I will come back and show you what I've made. Thanks so much to Erica for um, asking me to be a guest design team member. I am so excited and looking forward to uh, creating some more projects for you. Thanks for watching everyone. Please stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you soon. Bye.